the shadow. He must have dropped it. He flies here each night from Neverland, which is just past the second star to the right. Wendy, no such place exists. Good night. <coughs> like this. You used to be able to find a lost boy in no time. It can be incredibly frustrating trying to communicate with Peter when he gets distracted. Tink, why are you chattering so much? I found it! I knew I'd find it quicker than you. Look how amazing my shadow is! All I have to do now is attach it back. Give me some soap. Oh my goodness! It's you! I knew it, you're real! I knew it! I knew it! You're Peter Pan and you're real, not to tell at told. I'm Wendy. Wendy, Moira, Angela, Darling. You came back for your shadow, right? Wait, are you trying to attach it with soap? Get your shadow back on, you'll be as good as new. Then maybe you can show me where stories can come true. But wait, how'd you lose your shadow? Girls talk a lot. Excuse me? First of all, your nanny is a doll, so that's weird. And second, she attacked me while I was floating outside and grabbed my shadow. Oh, Nana. I come every night to listen to your stories. But my stories are all about you. That's why I like them. I tell them to the Lost Boys, but forget some of the details. Look how amazing my shadow is! I crow when I'm happy. Oh, Peter, I'm so unhappy. Tomorrow I have to grow up and be a proper lady. Grow up? Tomorrow I'm leaving the nursery, which means no more stories. What? I won't have it. I'm taking you to Neverland. You'll never grow up there. But what will my mom say? What's a mom? What's a mom? Someone who loves you and tells you stories. Good. You can be our mom. Ow! Stop it, Tink! There's one more thing you should know. Although it may seem that I'm a normal-sized girl, I'm really just a two-inch tall fairy. Which is why my voice sounds like bells to most humans. Look, she's there. Now oh, she's there. I know I shouldn't have pulled Wendy's hair like that, but she was going to tell Peter more stories about himself. Peter Pan is an excellent boy, but he can be very conceited. Wendy is my friend, and she's coming with us. Peter is going to take us to Neverland. But how will we get there? We'll fly, of course. It's easy. All you have to do is think of a wonderful thought. Any happy little thought? Uh-huh. Like toys at Christmas? Playhouse 
my map. Maybe his and his boys hide out in the mermaid lagoon. We've trolled the very depths of the mermaid's lagoon. Maybe a cave of cannibal cove. We've dynamited every cave in cannibal cove. Maybe
Peter, we did what you asked. Buckle Windy Bird with our deadly poison tipped arrows is how we killed the Windy Bird. Oh, whose arrow is this? You blockhead! I bring you someone amazing to tell you stories and you kill her? She was going to tell us stories? Huh? you are here by sentence too? Wait. My mind is made up, and yet I feel something holding me back. Is it your conscience? No. <coughs> Look! She's not dead. That was fun. What happened? The arrow hit a button on my nightgown. Ha! Huh. Why did you do this? Tink? Tinkerbell, come here! You are hereby sentenced with high treason. Are you guilty or not? <coughs> guilty? Well then, Tinkerbell, I hereby banish you forever. <coughs> okay, banish for a week. Let's scram. <laughs> come on, Wendy. Let's see if we can go find Hook and make him pay for this morning stunt. John, you're in charge. Lock boys, follow him wherever he leads. Race ya. So you're the lost boy. But how did you get lost? When babies fell in their cribs, they come to Neverland. Why are there no lost girls? Girls are too clever to fall out of their cribs. <laughs> <laughs>
have to meet them. But well, Wendy, we gotta find Hook. You can have mermaids, lovely dresses. You can have scales instead of skin. No need to send the sea things to end. Slippery soup from head to fin. Come and join, come and join, come and join us. about that time I threw Hook's hand into the crocodile's mouth? There I was on Marooner's Rock. Wait, Wendy, Tiger Lily, the princess of the island, and she's a prisoner? I knew Hook was up to no good, but how do we rescue her? Jolly Roger. But, but, but if you are Hook, th then who am I? A codfish. We can keep doing all this talk about a codfish? Fool, this is merely some witchcraft. Stay here with the captain while I get to the bottom of this. Mr. Smee? Uh, yes, Captain? Release the princess and take her back to her people. Oh, but which Captain Hook are you? The real Captain Hook. Me. It's Pan! Insolent knave! Come and get me! Floating on water again, you cheap insolent boy! I'll slash you to ribbons! You'll cut me to pieces! I'll slit your gizzard! Not so fast! Peter! Wendy! In the back, Captain! Leave him in the brisket! I've got you this time, Pan! I say, Captain, do you hear something? No! Oh, no! Mr. Crocodile, do you like codfish? <coughs> it's me! The crocodile is here! I'm coming, Captain! I'll get you, Pat, I swear! Next time it'll be worse than you could possibly imagine! Sweet victory! Let's go! Thank you, Brave Girl from far away. That was a close one. Come on back to our camp. Let's celebrate. Absolutely! <laughs> Tiger Bamboo. What's the chief doing, Peter? He's delivering an oration to Pantomime. He says, Peter Pan, mighty warrior, save Tiger Lily, make chief very glad. Actually, I was stretching my arms. Are you the one who saved the princess? Yep, it was me, Peter. Then you are hereby renamed Little Flying Eagle, and you can join our tribe. Flying Eagle! Flying Eagle! Flying Eagle! Flying Eagle! 
Peter, tell him. I help too. I will, I will. There's one more thing, Chief, and it's important. Can you teach me some Indian words? We really don't know any, but when we want to sound official, we say Hanumanaganda. Hanumanaganda, 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 Hanumanaganda! That's fine. Oh wait, I have one more question. Why do they call you Braves? Because we are Braves. But why?
Tell Peter that Captain Hook has admitted defeat, and I leave tomorrow ne'er to return. Well, I'm definitely glad to hear that. I'm going to tell the truth. Get back here, Smee. <laughs> yes, all is forgiven. Oh, Pan has his faults. He brought that Wendy to the island after all. And rumor is that she has already come between you and Peter. Then it's true. Oh, Smee, the way of a man with a maid, taking the best years of her life and then tossing her aside like a glove. Oh, the women say. We must save Peter from Wendy. But how? We sail in the morning. That's it. We can Shanghai Wendy, take her to sea with us, and then Pan will forget his delight in her ridiculous stories. But Captain, we don't even know where Wendy lives. What's that? You can show us where the Lost Boy's secret hideout is? Take this down, Smee, and I promise not to lay a hand or a hook on Peter. Let's go. They say fairies are either all good or all bad, but that's not true. We can be both. It's just that we're too small for two different feelings to exist at once. And that day, I was really steamed at Peter. <sighs> I wish I couldn't do this, but it's part of the story. I did it. I told Hook where Peter and Wendy were hiding. Mother 
Mothers work hard to make sure you have everything you need. And they're good to you. And they protect you. Remember? Ha ha ha! 
Well, at least not in one location anyway. You see, we left a present for Peter. Sort of surprise, sweetie, you might say. Why, I can almost see our dear friend now. Perhaps he's just reading the tender inscription. To Peter, with love from Wendy. Do not eat until 6 o'clock. Hmm. I've cooked up a pie baked with the rarest and finest of TNT. Cooked to a delicious green, which at precisely 6 p.m. will go kaboom! Kaboom! No! Hook promised not to touch him! Fairies, help me! Wendy. 
But you defeated Hook. You're the captain. I'll play captain if you play the leader. Well then, Captain Pan, take a straight path past the second star to the right. Tinkerbell? Why, of course I'll forgive you, Tinkerbell. But now I want you to make the ship fly and take us home. Will you do that? All right, you swabs. Aloft with the up. We're casting off. Man the caspin. Hoist the anchor. See, add the pixie dust. Oh, Dad. 